In this lecture, I wanna show you exactly how to download the Adobe Creative Cloud app, the desktop app, and then from there, download all of the apps you need to be successful with this course. Now there's a good chance that if you've already purchased this course, you already have done this, so feel free to skip this lecture at any time. For the rest of you who've never done this before, I'm gonna also walk through some of the subscription and plan pricing structures that they have available and guide you toward what might be the best fit for you. So first of all, let's go to adobe.com and their homepage changes frequently. So this might look a little different when you get there, but up at the top, we've got their main markets and sections available and we're looking for the creativity and design. So I'm gonna click on this link here. And from there in the drop down, we have some really helpful links that you should consider checking out if you have more questions than what I've answered in this video. But what you're looking for is the view all plans and pricing button. Now, if this has changed since I've recorded this and it looks totally different, you might have just as good success by going to google.com and typing in Adobe Creative Cloud. From there, pick whichever one looks like the best link for you. Here they've got an ad, so I'm just gonna click on this one right at the top. And that should take me right to that same plans and pricing page. In this case, it's just the homepage for the Creative Cloud, so it's got some more tabs about what's new, learning and support, all products, and a free trial. Now, one thing I wanna point out, their free trial is only seven days long. So what I suggest is if you're taking this course and you've just purchased this, dive right in and do this right away because I want you to know that it's a good fit or not a good fit as soon as possible. If you discover this isn't a good fit for you, go ahead and get a refund for this course as well. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I wanna make sure that this is something that you love. So from there, let's go ahead and click on the choose a plan button and that should redirect you to this page here. Now I wanna point out there are four different tabs across the top. They have plans and pricing for individuals, which will probably be 90% of you, business, students and teachers, and schools and universities. So if you're currently a student at an accredited college or university, definitely check out this plan and step through the different uh, uh, processes here. You can click on the learn more button and see if your school qualifies for this. Because if it does, it's a substantial savings. Now for the rest of us, you'll probably end up choosing the individual's plan. Now within this plan, we've got a few different options here to consider. So one approach you might take to following along with this course would be to do the trial version, try it for the seven days, and then go from there and reevaluate whether you think you want to continue on or get a refund for this and the course as well. The other thing you could do is a majority of this course currently touches on Photoshop. We do get into Illustrator, we do get into InDesign, uh, but I would say if you had to get stuck on an island with one app, I would choose Photoshop because with Photoshop, you can do a majority of the graphic design tasks you'll be doing as a beginner. So the way you could do that is you could come over here to single app, choose an app such as Photoshop, and then click the buy now button. You'll be asked to make your own account and it will give you the download. You'll notice this is only $20 a month if we choose annual plan paid monthly. So what that means is you are um, signing a contract essentially for one year and they'll give you this discounted rate of $20 a month. If I click monthly plan where there is no commitment, you'll notice it's a little bit more expensive. Or I can choose to pay prepaid for the whole year and it's about $240 for the year. Now, I know that might seem like a lot. When I first started and learned, you had to buy the entire creative suite and it was over $1,000 to buy. So this is actually a really good deal to be able to kind of put your big toe in the water and see if it's something that you enjoy. You could also consider this photography plan. Depending on the level you choose, you'll notice the options down here change. And this includes both Photoshop and Lightroom. So for those of you who might be leaning towards photography, but dabbling in Photoshop and some graphic design, this could be a really good plan for you as well. It also, depending on the plan you choose, comes with 20 gigs, a terabyte, uh, or I guess one terabyte of storage with just Lightroom. So something to consider for sure. Now, I use the all apps bundle and I would suggest that for you as well. If you're, if you're set on doing graphic design and learning more or even video editing and photography, by doing this annual plan with all of the apps, you have access to absolutely everything from video editing, photography, uh, uh, the web design apps and all of the Photoshop and Illustrator and InDesign creative apps as well. So this is what I actually have. Uh, recently I upgraded and I have the Adobe stock bundle as well, which then adds a monthly subscription for images. 
Now, before you choose any of these, especially the annual plans paid monthly where you're actually signing up for a contract, one more thing I want to point out is on Adobe's legal page, they mentioned that if you cancel, you have to do so within 14 days of your initial order. So what that means is let's say you have a seven day trial and you go for the seven days, then they would bill your card on that seventh or eighth day. And then 14 days from when they build your card, you need to contact them and say, Hey, I want to cancel if there's any, any issue. Otherwise what's going to happen is you will be charged for 50% of the remaining contract obligation. So if you've got a whole year left, they're going to charge you for half of that year. So I just want to be very clear to you before you dive in and then forget that you've got a subscription, make sure that this is something you want to do. And don't forget, you've only got those seven days as a trial before it kind of gets serious. So again, I, you know, if you're going to be a designer and this is what you want to do, it's just, it's just a cost of doing business. There are some other apps that we can talk about a little bit later, such as Pixelmator and a few other new ones like Sketch, where you can pay for it outright and never have to do the subscription thing. But the Adobe Creative Cloud is by far the industry standard. So once you've selected what plans and pricing makes the most sense for you, you can click the buy now button at the bottom of any one of these. It'll redirect you to the page where then you can set up your email account and create your, your Adobe ID. And then from there, just follow the prompts to download the software that you need. You'll be able to download the Creative Cloud desktop app, which is a smaller app. So it downloads quickly. You install it on your computer. And then from there, you can open it up and see all of the different applications that are available to you, depending on your subscription level. From there, just click the button over here on the side that'll say install if you don't have it installed yet. Or in my case, I've got a few that need updated, so I can go ahead and click the update button now. The Adobe Desktop app is a great way to keep all of your apps current, as well as using these tabs across the top where you can learn more about how to use the software, manage your assets, find Adobe stock for your next project, or even create your Behance portfolio.